Hi, everyone. Welcome to Pla Academy. I hope you found this video helpful. If so, I'd really appreciate it if you could subscribe to my channel, like this video, share it with your friends, and leave a positive comment. Your support and encouragement motivate me to create more great videos. I divide the topics in Unit 1, Mechanics and Materials as as follows, like this. And all the topics are covered by following the syllabus of the Physics International A level for Edexcel, as shown here. In this video, I've covered all of Topic 1, Mechanics, focusing on the energy, work and power. Work done is the product of force and displacement moved in the direction of the force. It is a scalar quantity, and its unit is joule. The formula of the work done is W equals FD. Where W is work done in joule, F is the force in newtons and D is the displacement moved in the direction of the force in meters. When the force and the displacement are in the same directions. In this case, the work done is positive. If a 5 newtons force acts on a box, causing it to move 10 meters in the same direction, are shown. The work done can be calculated using W equals FD. Substituting F equals 5 newtons and D equals 10 meters. We get the work done equals 50 joule. When the force and the displacement are in the opposite directions. In this case, the work done is negative. If a 5 newtons force acts on a box to the left while the box moves 10 meters to the right, are shown. The work done can be calculated using W equals FD. Substituting F equals 5 newtons and D equals negative 10 meters. We get the work done equals negative 50 joule. The negative sign indicates that the force opposes the displacement. When the force F acts on a box at an angle theta to the horizontal, causing the box to move D meters to the right, are shown. The force F can be resolved into horizontal and vertical component. The horizontal component is F cos theta, and the vertical component is F sin theta. F cos theta is in the same direction to the displacement D. This component does work W on the box as F cos theta times D. F sin theta is perpendicular to the displacement D. This component does not work on the box. Energy is the ability to do work. It is a scalar quantity, and its unit is joule. There are many form of the energy as follows. Kinetic energy is the energy due to the movement of a mass. Gravitational potential energy store in a mass due to change in its position within a uniform gravitational field strength. Elastic potential energy, or stain energy, store in an object due to change in its shape. Chemical potential energy. Electrical potential energy is the work done by the electric force due to the electric field. Thermal or heat energy. Radiation energy, for example light, infrared or gamma. Sound energy. Nuclear energy. Principle of conservation of energy. The energy cannot be created and destroyed, but can only be transferred from one form to another. Principle of work energy. Work done and the energy principle state that mechanical or electrical work done is equal to the energy transferred. Derive the formula of the kinetic energy as Ek equals half of m square v. A force F pushes a box along a smooth surface, causing a displacement of S. The box's velocity increases from an initial value of u to a final value of v. Since the surface is smooth, there is no thermal energy loss. Therefore, all the work done W by the force F is transferred to an increase in kinetic energy delta Ek. The work done by the force F, W equals Fs. So, delta Ek equals Fs. The force F equals m, a. From the equation v squared equals u squared plus 2, a, s. 
So a s equals half of v squared minus u squared. Substituting a s into this equation like this. So delta e k equals m half of v squared minus u squared. Assuming that the initial velocity u equals zero. Therefore, delta e k equals half of m square v. Derive the formula of the gravitational potential energy as e p equals m g delta h. A box with a mass m kilogram being lifted from the ground to a higher level with a height delta h. Since we use the force f that equals boxes weight to hold the box, so f equals m g. Therefore, all the work done W by the force F equals m g is transferred to an increase in gravitational potential energy delta E p. The work done by the force F W equals F s. So delta E p equals F s. The force F equals m g. The distance s equals delta h. Therefore, delta E p equals m g delta h. Work example one. When a horizontal force F is applied to a frictionless trolley over a distance S, the kinetic energy of the trolley changes from 4 joule to 8 joule. If a force of 2 F is applied to the trolley over a distance of 2 S, what will the original kinetic energy of 4 joule become? The frictionless surface means that no heat energy loss or no work done against friction. So, the work done by the force F equals the kinetic energy gain. The work done by the force F equals F times S, and EK gain equals 8 joule minus 4 joule. So, FS equals 4 joule. If a force of 2F is applied to the trolley over a distance of 2S, the original kinetic energy of 4 joule become the final kinetic energy EK. So, 4FS equals EK minus 4 joule, and EK equals 4 FS plus 4. Substituting FS equals 4. We get the final EK equals 20 joule. Work example 2. A constant force of 9.0 kN, parallel to an inclined plane, moves a body of weight 20 kN through a distance of 40 meters along the plane at constant speed. The body gains 12 meters in height, as shown. How much of the work done is dissipated as heat? The box moves at constant speed to indicate that its kinetic energy remains the same. So, the work done by 9 kN force equals the gravitational potential energy gain plus work done against friction, or dissipated heat energy. Therefore, F times S equals mg delta H plus dissipated heat. Substituting F equals 9,000 newtons, mg equals 20,000 newtons, delta H equals 12 meters. We solve the dissipated heat equals 120,000 joule. Work. Example 3. A box of weight 200 newtons is pushed so that it moves at a steady speed along a ramp, through a height of 1.5 meters. The ramp makes an angle of 30 degrees with the ground. The frictional force on the box is 150 newtons while the box is moving. What is the work done by the person? The box moves at constant speed to indicate that its kinetic energy remains the same. So, the work done by the person equals the gravitational potential energy gain plus work done against friction or dissipated heat energy. Therefore, the work done by the person equals mg delta h plus friction times distance d. Therefore, distance d is the distance along the ramp, like this. So, sine 30 equals delta h divided by d. We solve the distance d equals 1.5 divided by sine 30 equals 3 meters. Substituting mg equals 200 newtons, Delta H equals 1.5 meters, friction equals 150 newtons, and D equals 3 meters. We get the work done by the person equals 750 joule. 
Work example 4. A trolley runs from P to Q along a track. At Q its potential energy is 50 kJ less than at P. At P, the kinetic energy of the trolley is 5 kJ. Between P and Q, the work the trolley does against friction is 10 kJ. What is the kinetic energy of the trolley at Q? The kinetic energy of the trolley at P equals 5 kJ. When the trolley runs from P to Q, the work done against friction, or heat energy loss, is 10 kJ, and the kinetic energy at Q is Ek. Therefore, the gravitational potential energy loss from P to Q equals 50 kJ. So, the gravitational potential energy loss equals the kinetic energy gain plus work done against friction. Substituting Ep loss equals 50 kJ, Ek gain equals Ek minus 5 kJ, and work done against friction equals 10 kJ. We solve the Ek at Q equals 45 kJ. Power is the work done per unit time, or energy transferred per unit time. It is a scalar quantity, and its unit is watts or joule per second. The formula of the power P equals W divided by T, or E divided by T. Where P is the power in watts, W is work done in joule, T is time in seconds and E is the energy in joule. If we substitute work, Done W equals force F times displacement D into P equals W over T. Where D over T is speed V. So, the power P equals F times V, like this. Work example 5. An area of land is an average of 2 meters below sea level. To prevent flooding, pumps are used to lift rainwater up to sea level. What is the minimum pump output power required to deal with 1.3 times 10 power 9 kilograms of rain per day? The power can be calculated using P equals E divided by T. Where the energy E equals gravitational potential energy mg delta H. The mass m equals 1.3 times 10 power 9 kilograms. The gravitational field strength G equals 9.81 meters per square second. The delta H equals 2 meters. The time T is one day, converting into second, which is 86,400 seconds. Substituting M, G, delta H and T in the equation, like this. We get the power P equals 300 kilowatts for two significant figures. Efficiency is the ratio of the useful energy, or work or power, output from the system to the total energy, or work or power, input. Work, example 6. A constant force F, acting on a car of mass M, moves the car up the slope through a distance S at constant velocity V. The angle of the slope to the horizontal is alpha. Which expression gives the efficiency of the process? The efficiency of this question can be calculated using The efficiency equals useful energy, or work output divided by total energy, or work input. The useful energy output is the gravitational potential energy gain of the car equals mg delta h. The delta h is the vertical height. And sine alpha equals delta h divided by s. So, Delta H equals S times sine alpha. Therefore, EP gain equals MGS sine alpha. Total energy input equals the work done by the force F. So, the work done by the force F equals F times S. Therefore, the efficiency equals MGS sine alpha divided by FS. We cancel out S, like this. Since, the result is mg sine alpha over f. Work example 7. A bow of mass 400 grams shoots an arrow of mass 120 grams vertically upwards. The potential energy stored in the bow just before release is 80 joule. The system has an efficiency of 28%. 
What is the height reached by the arrow when air resistance is neglected? The efficiency can be calculated using The efficiency equals useful energy output divided by total energy input. The efficiency equals 28%. The useful energy output equals GPE gain equals mg delta H. The total energy input equals the potential energy storing in the bow. GPE gain equals 0.12 kg times 9.81 times delta H. The potential energy storing in the bow equals 80 joule. We solve the delta H equals 19 meters for two significant figures. Work example 8. Water from a reservoir is fed to the turbine of a hydroelectric system at a rate of 500 kg per second. The reservoir is 300 meters above the level of the turbine. The electrical output from the generator driven by the turbine is 200 amperes at a potential difference of 6000 volts. What is the efficiency of the system? The efficiency of this question can be calculated using the efficiency equals useful power output divided by total power input. The useful power output equals the electrical power equals VI. The total power input equals the gravitational potential energy per second of the water. The electrical power equals 6000 volts times 200 amperes. The gravitational potential energy per second of the water equals 500 kilograms per second times 9.81 times 300 meters. Therefore, the efficiency equals 82% for two significant figures. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, I would be grateful if you would subscribe, share, like and leave a positive comment. Your support will encourage me to create more content. Thank you.